What's up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's episode of Defensive Scheme of the Week, we're going to show you our man-to-man -man pressure. We actually showed it in a Blitz of the Day, the Silver Shoot Pinch. And uh, what we're going to do with this is we're going to bait, or excuse me, we're not going to baseline or press, after, but that is part of the setup, of course. First two setups I want you to do, I want you to spread your line, I want you to crash them out. Now, you want to only send it off the right side. So what I want you to do before you, sit, before you do anything else, globally zone your linebackers like so. Now, now is what I want you to do is I want you to figure out which side you're sending it off of. So for this example first, we're going to send it off the left edge. Okay, so we know we're sending it off the left edge, so we're going to re-blitz the left of screen outside linebacker. Then we're going to man align so that those zones play properly, and then we're going to baseline and press. And now the, now the play is set up properly, and we should get pressure off the left edge. And as you see, we get pressure very clean off of the left edge. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to flip it for the right edge. So silver shoot pinch, globally zone your linebackers, man align. Now figure out what you're going to do. Spread line crash out. Now I'm going to set it off the right. So I'm going to reblitz that right of screen backer. Man align so that the zones play properly, and then I baseline and press after I man align. Do not baseline and press before you man align, otherwise it will screw it up. And there you see we're going to come off that right edge. All right. Now you decide. Okay, well I'm going to send it off of both edges. So, so now what, Cody? Because they're already blitzing. I'm already sending it off both edges. Well, you're going to spread your line. You're going to crash it out. You're going to globally zone your linebackers. Then you're going to man align. Then you're going to re-blitz both linebackers, and then baseline and press. And now you're going to have two-way pressure. Why is it important to have two-way pressure? If they block the running back or if they block a tight end, the pressure's still going to come in. And that time it actually came in two ways, you know. But anyway, silver shoot pitch once again. Globally zone your linebackers. Man align them. Reblitz both of them because that's you're wanting to get two-way pressure. Then base align and press. And now you see. Now you're responsible for the running back if he goes on a route. If he doesn't go on a route, then you're free to play user control with whatever you want to do here. And you see you're going to get um, pressure off of both edges. So guys, that's our man-to-man -man pressure complement to our zone look. Looks exactly like our zone, but it's man-to-man -man coverage behind it. Always good to have a man blitz and a zone blitz so that the offense can identify the coverage behind it so that they hesitate and they either get sacked or they throw an interception. We like to call the man-to-man -man pressure on third and short plays, like third and one, third and two, because the pressure will, the coverage will hold up long enough for the pressure to come in. Thank you for watching so much, guys. It really means the world to me that all you guys want to watch my videos and retweet it and whatnot. So please Please share this video on Twitter, like this video on YouTube, and if you're not already subscribed to me, subscribe to me, and if you're not already following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter for, for more free Madden NFL 25 content. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys next week with another great defensive scheme.